Let's start with Dubois. It's not often a number one center hits the market. Craig, what's Kevin Sheveldayoff looking to get in a trade involving him? Well, it all depends when you want to trade him. I mean, I mean, Pierre-Luc Dubois is young. He's powerful. And to your point, Gino, he's, he's a top-notch player. But you, you, you have to – there's a, there's multiple, you know, aspects here. It, what are the teams that Pierre-Luc Dubois wants to go to and, and, and sign a long-term extension with? Well, that limits you. You know, what does it mean in terms of your timeline with the Winnipeg Jets? Is this about trying to get a return that can help your team now? Is it about coming to uh, – an acceptance that we're going to have to get some younger players in and build this out a little while. I mean, it, it all depends. What I will say is this, and, and it also applies to Brinkat before we get to the Brinkat. You know, for Kevin Sheveldayoff and Pierre Dorian, you need to trade them on your terms. Mm. You know, you have them for one more year. Evaluating when you can trade these players to try to get the most for your team, that may happen in the summer. You explore it. You start to look at it. But like Joe Sackick did with Matt Duchesne, he told Matt Duchesne, you want to be traded, fine, but you better play, and you better play hard, because I'm not trading you just because you want to be traded. I'm not just trading you because you want to go somewhere else. I'll trade you, and I'll accommodate your wish, but on my terms, not on your terms. Yeah. So it's in the best interest of Alex Debrinkat and Pierre-Luc Dubois to go in there with the same exact mindset, and for Pierre Dorian and Kevin Sheveldayoff to realize you don't have to trade them now. And I said this at the time with Matthew Shane. People go, oh, there'll be a distraction in the, in the dressing room. Only if they want to be distractions. That won't help them either. Let's get to Debrinkat. He's a little trickier. His loan season with the Sens wasn't his best, so his value may have dipped slightly, but this is still a player Pierre Dorian should receive a lot of calls on. What's the best-case scenario for Ottawa here? Well, who, who, wants, a, who wants a scoring winger? A, a, a very prolific scoring winger. And, you know, it's not only that, Gino. It is also, what's the price the point for, for that type of scoring winger? No, everybody needs scoring, and Alex has, has done very well. You look at the Ottawa Senators, it's, it, he was playing with Patrick Kane, one of the premier playmakers in the National Hockey League in Chicago. Quite frankly, Ottawa doesn't have a player yeah. like Patrick Kane. <laughs> so, you know, that's part of, that's part of something you got to look at. But, you know, when you look at what the Ottawa Senators had to give up to get Alex to bring Kat, with the seventh, I'm just, I'm just saying seventh overall pick. Would a seventh overall pick be enough value? Because that's, that, that's what they paid to get him. So yeah. you've got to be careful in terms of saying, oh, there's big value out there. All depends what teams are willing to pay. It all depends where you're at in your cycle. I think Alex Debrinkat has value. It may not happen at the draft. It may not happen in the summer. Alex Debrinkat very well may have to come back and play. And you know one thing about Dubois and Debrinkat, going into the last year before unrestricted free agency, you know you're going to get the very best from them in, in all regards.